in Galatians chapter 1, Paul asks a very important question. It's probably rhetorical, but important nonetheless. He says, am I now seeking the approval of man or of God, or am I trying to please man? Now, this is an important question, not only for Paul to ask of himself, but also for us to ask of ourselves. Am I trying to please people instead of God? Do I care more about what other people think of me as opposed to what God thinks of me? Am I striving to be a servant of Christ? Or do I want to please my friends or my family or my teacher or my coworkers or my employer? Can I do both? Can I do both of those things? Or, or is there some inconsistency there? See, we know that in this life, there's friction. There's friction between our, our old Adam and our new redeemed self. And so we also recognize there's friction and tension between the ways of man and the ways of God. We cannot be a servant of God if we are striving only to please men. But how do we know the difference? How do we know the difference between man's way and God's way, between the truth of God's word and the opinion of man? This is exactly what Paul is addressing in this first part of his epistle to the Galatians. He wants them to know that the word he proclaims to them is the word of God, that he is an apostle sent by God. And they can't just hear his word and and take it or leave it, or just disregard the things that they don't want to hear. That this is really important that they understand the truth, and that God's word is truth, and that it brings them salvation. And so Paul really lays it on thick. And he says to them that he did not receive this word from any man, nor was he taught it, but he received it, through the revelation of Jesus Christ. And so what does that mean for you? Well, what that means for you is that this word that we read in the scriptures is that revelation of Christ for you. We recognize that this is where the truth is found, in this revealed word of Christ, and that the Holy Spirit is working through that word to bring us an understanding of that truth so that we can understand where our salvation is found. But we don't do that alone. God has given us the church, he's given us our pastors, and the Holy Spirit is working through all of these ways in order to bring us into the faith, to keep us in the faith, and to continue to strengthen us in the faith. Don't fall prey to those who are trying to seek the approval of men, but listen to your pastor and continue to pray for him, that he would be a faithful servant of God's word, not only for your benefit, but for the benefit of all the church. You need the truth of God's word. It is a salvation issue. Your identity in Christ is dependent upon this word of truth being revealed to you.